Hello, 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 and welcome back to the Bust Your Bookie show, the tennis edition. We're back with, uh, as Bet71 tips, with uh, Jacob and Sam to go through Thursday's plays. It's uh, been another relatively strong day in our Telegram, um, and we're looking as though we're going to go a 3-0 and from the YouTube bets from yesterday. Uh, Grenier and Burton and got the job done rather comfortably. Um, Grenier is looking like a really good form player heading into the final round of qualifying. And it looks as though from a remarkable turnaround that Diallo is going to see off uh, Drogue in this uh, last set here. As we speak while this video is going place, it is 4-2 to Diallo in the final set. So we are looking OK with that one. And who knows, by the end of this video, Diallo could have that match wrapped up for a confirmed 3-0 and from yesterday's plays. But yeah, so is it, hopefully we're going to replicate that today. We've got three bets coming up for you today and... Um, but yeah, also worth noting, do join the free Telegram, which is in the description. It's the quickest and best way to get all of our bets with the best price. And uh, just before it slightly drops, maybe before we hit YouTube on here. And uh, do also keep our notifications on as well, as we are lo looking to open up a paid service for a tiny, tiny fee of about nine ninety nine a month. Um, ahead of the US Open main draw, which is starting this Sunday, I believe. Um, and we've also got football or, or in America, as it's known, soccer plays for this weekend. And these will also be included within that pay service. So you're sort of getting a two for the price of one job. So uh, do keep an eye on that because we will be launching that this weekend. And we also will have a football bracket soccer show for this weekend coming up. So we will be tipping um, football on this YouTube channel. So do keep an eye um, for the upcoming bets, as I'm sure. There'll be many keen soccer betters out there for the, for you Americans. So, yeah, we're going to kick today's plays off. We've got three for you today, and we're going to kick it off with the ever-reliable man that we've trusted many a time before on this channel. We're taking Vilias Galbas money line against Diego Schwarzman. So this game's taking place at 10 a.m. Central Time, and the tournament is US Open men's qualifying. All of the plays that we're taking today will also be in the description of this video. So if you're struggling with either hearing how I'm pronouncing the names or if we're not pronouncing the names correctly, um, just look in the description and you'll have it all there for you to find nice and easy with your respective bookmaker. So, yeah, we're taking Galbas Moneyline here for the first play. He's a player that's not let us down on this channel before. I think he's one of the few that have got a 100% record for us on this YouTube channel. And we're going with him again, despite him being a slight underdog here heading into this match. The Lithuanian has been brilliant um, for, for a lot of this season and has won his last seven matches, which includes winning a challenger event heading into this week of the US Open. Um, he's been good on clay and he sort of replicated that on hard courts, which, which we thought originally would be a bit of a tough transition. But he's uh, made light work of it. And he's seven wins and three losses on hard courts this season. And he comfortably beat Richard Gasquet in the second round of qualifying. Um, and Gasquet is a player that's been around the ATP tour at the top level of tennis for some time. And even though he's sort of heading towards the later stages of his career, he sort of made light work of sweeping aside a player of Gasquet's quality on hard court, which, which caught our eye for all the right reasons. He's um he's up against Schwarzman, who hasn't sort of been anywhere near his best level this year. He's sort of a shadow of the player that he was in previous years. Um, and he's going to find it tough against Galbas. Um, Schwarzman has won both of his qualifying matches in straight sets, which is good to see. But um, but they haven't been against all that stronger players, whereas Galbas has looked like a player playing with free flow and confidence. Um, and he's going to be very, very tough to stop in this match. So it's going to be an interesting one. So, yeah, and I'll head over to Sam now, who's going to take us through the second play of the day. Hello, all. Um, our second play of the day is going to be... A Kyrian Jacquet money line against Rodionov. Um, this is starting at the same time at 10 a.m. Central Time in the US Open men's qualifying. Um, Jacquet has really been a player that has impressed us kind of in the last few weeks. Um, he's got quite a tidy record of seven wins, three losses this year on hard courts, um, which I would argue is what is his probably most favoured surface um, in the matches that he's played so far. Um, he's been through quite a few difficult matches. Um, in the first round, he uh, beat Van Irithoven, uh, who is a very, very strong player, especially on hard court. Um, and he made that game look easy. And then he also went on to beat Hong in the second round, um, which was more, it was a more a tough game, but he still managed to come out with a 2-1 a, a win. Um, 
Jacque shouldn't be he should be too strong for Erodionov. Um Erodionov is a player who is inconsistent at best. Um his record kind of speaks for itself is that he's lost more games on hard than he's won. He's done the same for Clay. Um so he's really quite a up and down player. So we think with Jacque kind of in his strong form, um, then he should be able to take this win and there is a good amount of a value here. Um, but yeah, he's a really, really strong player that we believe will get the job done um, and that he actually has a decent chance to actually go far here because uh, he just has the momentum with him and we believe he is a solid, a solid pick. Yeah, so nice and simple with that one. Uh, Here and Jack a money line against Stuart Rodinov is the second play for us. And uh, leading on to the final one, we've got a nice little parlay. I'm sure many of you viewers know we like a little parlay to finish with. We love a parlay. Uh, we've got a little... We love a parlay. We've got a nice little mix on this one. We've got uh, we're sticking with one of our reliable names, and then we've got a slightly less um less well known name that we're dipping into. So this one takes place from U.S. Open men's qualifying as well as U.S. Open women's qualifying. So uh, the men's side of the things we're taking Jesper De Jong money line against Lai Two. And we're combining that with Sonny Cartel money line against the player whose name I'm going to absolutely butcher. But with <laughs> Yulia starod Budzvetsa, we'll go with. I'm sure I've mispronounced that, but I think Easy we'll, we'll appreciate the effort. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so starting off with Cartel, we're taking Cartel on money line. She's been brilliant this season Um, in what is sort of a breakthrough season this year. She's, she's banging form at the moment. And I think uh, you don't have to be a tennis expert to know that her record's a very, very good one on hard courts this season, regardless of the level she's playing at. She's uh, 23 wins and just the one loss so far on hard courts this season, which includes winning multiple ITF events, which is the slightly lower side of, of tennis in, in the women's side. But to, to be 23 for one at, at any standard of tennis is, is a remarkable record. And it's good to see her in such good form in qualifying as well for the US Open. She made a name for herself at this year's Wimbledon as well um, by reaching the main draw and did progress through those opening rounds of the draw before I think she was beaten by Coco Gauff, which is obviously no, there's no harm in getting beat by a player of her quality. But um, Cartel certainly didn't disgrace herself in that. Um, she, she should be far too strong for her opponent in this one, especially bear in mind um, Starod Bidvetsa has come through a tricky three three set match today. So um, yeah, she could be a little bit leggy, whereas Cartel sort of flown through these matches rather comfortably and should have the momentum to win here. And yeah, we're combining that for a nice little parlay with De Jong money line. Now De Jong is a player that is very familiar on this channel. Bear in mind, we backed him literally yesterday for today's plays um, and he got his job done very comfortably and is he's, he should be well favoured here to beat Lai Tu, who's a player that He's looked good on hard courts this season, um, but he has beaten players that are predominantly strong clay players, as opposed to being very effective on hard courts. Whereas De Jong, he's nine wins and three losses on hard courts this season and has that experience of playing in the main draw at the US Open, as well as playing in and qualifying for main draw um, at plenty of other majors on the tennis calendar. And we're expecting him to just edge him edge two out here you should, he's got too much quality to put it bluntly um, and it would be a real surprise to see him get beat here so yeah the final player of the day is going to be Sonne Cartel money line and we're combining that with Jesper de Jong money line for a nice little price parlay to finish up so yeah uh, that rounds off today's action do remember to join us in a free telegram and um, keep an eye out for the best prices that you can get for these bets and fingers crossed, we can go for another three and O oh, because at the time of speaking, we are currently on a match point. And there we go. That's actually literally just happened this second. So Diallo won that match today. So we've now gone three and O oh, um, for yesterday's play. So fingers crossed, we can make it another clean sweep for tomorrow's plays in the final round of qualifying. And yeah, cheers for the support.